Hello and happy Monday, everybody. Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg. And now that we're into August and we're getting into the meat of the hurricane season, you can really expand, uh, you know, the potential tropical cyclone genesis, meaning where do these storms form? It expands all over. Western Atlantic, of course, the Gulf, Western Caribbean, now the Eastern Caribbean, and we're starting to get the beginning of that Cape Verde season when you're getting those waves rolling off the coast of Africa, and some of those do, of course, develop. So if you look at the enhanced satellite on this Monday, quiet in the Gulf, Western Atlantic, not a peep. Caribbean looks good. So here it is, just this one disturbance that rolled off the coast of Africa, and this one has the potential to develop. In fact, there's a 40% chance that this would develop into, you know, potentially a tropical depression or a tropical storm. If it becomes a storm, it's given the name Danielle. Moving west northwest at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. It is disorganized, but trying to show some spin. This is typically what happens when these waves roll off the coast of Africa. So it is a long, long way away. And this is going to struggle, even if it becomes a tropical depression or a tropical storm and gets the name, it's going to have to fight all of this dust. The Saharan air layer, we call it the SAL, okay? And watch, as that continues to move westward, so is this wave, and it's trying to fight it. The problem is it can't. Okay, so if this comes into direct interaction with the Saharan air layer, forget it, it would probably just fall apart. If it can go a little bit farther south and stay away from it, then maybe it has the chance to develop. This is what happens when they're thousands of miles away. Just the smallest little tiny interference can change either the path or if it does or does not develop. But at least through Friday, the GFS model saying, okay, we think it could develop into something We'll keep an eye on it for you, but it's nothing to be alarmed about. Elsewhere, everything is pretty quiet in the tropics. Have a great day, and thanks for logging on.